Hey guys, so I'm just gonna bring you a quick little video here showing how to replace the battery in one of these Honda fobs. A lot of you guys have been asking if it's hard and the dealer actually charges a lot. Not a lot, but I mean, they actually charge money to even do this, it's so simple. So see right here, just slide that lever and you have to pull out the emergency key here. You slide it and it comes right out, it's easy. So now you have this fob. Now, see those little ears in there? You can put a coin in between there and twist it and it'll pop open, but it really chews up the plastic. So it doesn't take a whole lot of effort if you put your fingers in here and just pull the two sides apart. Now, if you can't do it that way, just use a quarter, but it will chew it up a tiny bit. But you just take here and pull it apart and it comes right apart. Really easy. And you can see the battery in there. Just hold on those little prongs. It's a CR2032. Get those at many stores. Um, I haven't had to replace mine yet, but depending on how much you actually use it, I hear they don't last a whole, a whole long time. So pretty simple. Then just snap it back together. I just start at the top because you can snap these ears if you try to force it. So if you get the top lined up and just push the top in and then just follow all the way down. And then just, it takes a little bit of pressure, just push it and it pops in place, just like that. And there you go. Those batteries are probably about maybe six or $7. Easy, easy, easy to replace it yourself. And you'll notice you need it if it's getting hard to unlock or lock it. Or when you go to start it, the, it'll tell you on your dash that you need to replace your battery. So that's kind of cool. Then just pop that little emergency key back in and you're good to go. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope everyone's being safe out there. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks again.